This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, we're going to be dealing with uh, some clouds tonight across the area. A couple of scattered storms around. Temps falling into the 60s and then eventually down into the 50s as we get ready for tomorrow. A couple of storms tonight. Severe storms are going to be around tomorrow. Really all modes of severe weather are possible tomorrow. Talking large hail, damaging winds, uh, even some isolated tornadoes on the table as well. It's going to be a quieter holiday weekend, but uh, we're watching tomorrow uh, certainly as an active day. 81 yesterday after a morning low of 46, so about where we should be for this time of year. Nothing in the rain gauge yesterday, still an inch above normal for the month of May, and we're likely going to add to that. Temps were mild today, well into the 80s here in our area. Contrast that with 60s here in eastern portions of Nebraska. 83 at Casper, 78 in Craig. How about DIA checking in right now at 85 degrees? We have 77 in Alliance, 78 in Ogallala. There's an 87 in Wheatland and an 86 right now up in Lusk. But unfortunately, the winds have been at it today as well. Southeast at 15 to 20, 25 miles an hour at times as well. And we have some gustier winds with some storms developing out here in eastern portions of Wyoming. Well, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the severe weather threat over the next several days. We'll start with tonight the best threat of severe weather, the slight risk up here in Montana. In our area, though, we do have a marginal risk of severe storms. That's a very that's the lowest risk level here on the uh, Storm Prediction Center, that marginal risk. That is, again, the lowest risk area, and it is for uh, portions of western Nebraska, eastern Wyoming, and down into northeastern Colorado. That changes tomorrow. We actually have an enhanced risk. So notice we go from the first level up to the third, an enhanced risk of severe storms outlined from these areas of far southeastern Montana through eastern Wyoming, western South Dakota, and then right here in the western portions of the Panhandle and back into eastern Wyoming along and east of I-25. That is the enhanced risk. The slight risk area is further to the east of that and covers almost the rest of the panhandle. So tomorrow going to be a day that we really have to keep an eye on for severe weather. And then that pushes off to the east of us primarily as we go into Thursday. Thunderstorm chances are really going to decrease. Now for tomorrow, we're talking about large hail, damaging winds being the primary threat. Large hail will be the biggest of the threat, but we cannot rule out an isolated tornado. And where this is going to be our first opportunity of the season, uh, to be talking about uh, some potential tornadic activity in our area. We want to know what those tornado terms mean. And remember this, a watch, you can see nothing going on here. Conditions are favorable for tornadoes to form. You don't need to take action on a tornado watch. Just be prepared. That is what you should be doing if a tornado watch is issued. Now, if a tornado warning is issued, that means you need to take action. A tornado has been spotted or indicated by radar. You can see that here. And then a tornado emer emergency, that is the rarest and the highest level that they issue. That means you need to seek immediate shelter. Uh, there's a severe threat to human life and catastrophic damage. These are reserved for the higher tornado uh, scale tornadoes and that are heading towards populated areas. So again, if you are under a tornado emergency at any point in time, it is nothing to, uh, to sneeze at, certainly a tornado warning either. So if you get into the warning or the emergency section, that's when you really want to take shelter. Again, if we're in a tornado watch, which likely will happen tomorrow or certainly possibly could happen. That's when you just know that conditions are favorable and you're going to want to stay tuned and stay up to date. A few thunderstorms off to our east tonight. They're going to or west. They're going to rumble across the area through the early overnight hours before they end. A few of them could move into the western portions of Nebraska, most of them in eastern Wyoming. Lows tonight going to be generally speaking out here in the 50s. And then as we go to tomorrow, we're going to start the day with partly cloudy skies, but things are going to turn interesting in a hurry as we go through the afternoon hours. We get through noon, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, okay. Then thunderstorms are going to start to develop in the high country, and they're going to traverse across to the east. Now, this particular model, model is holding on to the thunderstorm chances till later tomorrow night. You can see them really get going by 9, 10 o'clock here and organize into a line. If that happens, we'll be looking for a damaging wind threat here across the region, and those storms push on off to the north and east and away from us as we go through the overnight hours tomorrow night. 70s off to the east, 80s off to the west of us, and we're going to have uh, some upper 70s to near 80 right here in the middle. Everybody going to be uh, kind of a muggy day tomorrow with those southeasterly winds. And right now, 
uh, the National Weather Service or this particular model dumping quite a bit of rain on us uh, with some widespread areas here right in that enhanced risk of severe weather from a half to three quarters of an inch and certainly double or three times that not out of the question if you get under one of those stronger thunderstorms. So again, uh, scattered storms around early through the evening hours, 57 for your low. Tomorrow, the real deal, a severe weather day is unfolding for tomorrow. Storms develop by late in the afternoon, especially in the evening hours. Be weather ready tomorrow. In addition, it's gonna be windy throughout the day. 25, 35 sustained winds blowing out of that southeast. Temps at about 79 and then things quiet down considerably once we get beyond tomorrow. Really Thursday in the mid 70s, Friday back to near 80. Saturday, Sunday, the first two days of the Memorial Day weekend, not bad. A couple of degrees either side of 70. We warm up a bit by Monday and then Tuesday of next week. We're into the low 80s again, but uh, all in all the most active time tonight and then especially tomorrow. Stay tuned. We'll keep you up to date on the very latest right here on KNEB.TV.